read between the vines. It is a grape day here on Delmarva Life. Showtime! Delmarva Life's Katie Zerilli is at Layton's Chance Vineyard and Winery where we're about to see the grape go from vine to wine. Yes, Lisa, and we are here in the beautiful vineyards where it all starts. Some beautiful grapes growing here, and I'm joined by my friend William Layton, winemaker. Now, William, tell me a little bit about where you are in the process of the, the growing season, if you will. So the grapes, um, they've been growing all summer. Um, they're just about to get to Verasion. And what that means is, is the grapes have been getting bigger in size, but not in flavor yet. Um, and they don't have any color yet. They're still green grapes, uh, even though the grapes around us here will ultimately be red. So uh, once they go through Verasion, which should be right around next week, mm -hmm. um, they'll change color, they'll start to get their sweetness and their sugar mm -hmm. in there, and they'll get the flavors that'll make them a wine grape ultimately. That is, that's so fascinating that it's a green grape right now, but it's gonna be red, I, I can't get over that. <laughs> now, how has the season been so far? This has actually been a really great season for grapes. They like the dry weather, mm -hmm. uh, they like the heat, that's why you see them grown so much in, in uh, California and Australia. Um, but this is an ideal season for them here, it's been really dry for us, um, and they're thriving. Uh, we don't see any problems with them, they've been growing along well. It's actually, uh, for our really small grapes, our baby grapes, dry enough that we're starting to irrigate them now. Cool. So, how many, how much crop do you have in this in this whole place? So uh, we've got uh, 14 acres of grapes right now, wow. uh, and we expect we just did our crop estimate for this year. We expect that to give us 62 and a half tons of grapes this year. That's a lot of wine. That's a lot of wine. <laughs> <laughs> so, so these vines right here. What kind of wine will you make out of these grapes? So these, these are our Chamberson grapes. It's, it's one of the three red grapes that we grow. Um, and it's really versatile grape. Uh, we'll make uh, several of our dry wines out of it, our, our farm red, our Chamberson, um, and our Rise Up Red, the one we, we mix with some Rise Up Coffee. Mm -hmm. um, and then we can make some slightly sweeter wines too, our Rosé and our Harvest Blush um, with this same grape. How, how much work is it to kind of tend to these each day? Well, um, it, takes, it takes us a staff of four people out here wow. on a daily basis. There is a lot of work to do with the vines. Uh, you want to keep them under control. You don't want them to get big and bushy. You, uh, you don't want too many grapes out there. We actually cut some grapes off and drop them on the ground because you want to keep that quality, not quantity with grapes. Mm -hmm. um, you want to uh, allow the grapes to see sunlight, so we'll actually pull leaves from in front of the grapes. There's a lot of work that goes on here out in this vineyard all summer. Now, tell me this, if I were to pull one of these grapes off and eat it, how would it taste? It would taste terrible right now. <laughs> no sweetness to it at all. It would taste, taste, uh, really sour. Really sour. Okay, really so maybe sour. I won't try it. So. <laughs> <laughs> would be good. In, in about, about three to four weeks, they'll start to taste good. That is awesome. So. And then when will you start to kind of make the wine out of them? So uh, harvest will begin the last week of August usually for us, and it's been a hot summer, so that's what we expect uh, the last week of August. Um, and we'll start harvesting the grapes, pulling them inside, making, we have to, to immediately press the juice out of there and immediately start fermenting that into wine. Uh, and that process will take us to get all 62 tons done through mid-October usually. Wow. Well, cool. We're going to learn about that process coming up later in the show, right? You're going you're gonna to stick yep, around? Yeah, I'm going to show you. Awesome. All right. Well, stick with us for that. Don't worry, life. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Layton's Chance Vineyard and Winery. We have, of course, moved from outside to inside what I'm told is called the tank room. Here to learn more now with my pal, William Layton. The tank room. Yeah, this is the tank room. This is, this is where the wine is made. Once the, the juice is squeezed out of the grapes, it comes into these tanks. And this is where it stays for six months until we're ready to bottle it. Yeah, wow. So how much wine is in these tanks? So we've got uh, 7,000 gallons of, of capacity in these tanks right here. And right now they're just about all full. We've probably got about uh, 60, uh, yeah, 62, yeah. 6,500 gallons in the tanks right now. Incredible. So you said that the wine stays in there for six months. Mm -hmm. And then what happens? What's the process? Then bottling comes up, and we're actually two weeks away from our next bottling right now. Wow. So um, for us, uh, that's a, a, 
what's called a mobile bottling line. It's a truck that comes up here, yep. has all the equipment in there. We'll hook our tanks up to the truck, and it has all the bottling equipment, and we'll bottle all the wine for us. Yeah. And you were saying that there's a lot of science to this, right? There is. Wine is a lot of chemistry. You mm -hmm. have to have the sugars and the acids and the alcohols and the proteins all right or the wine doesn't turn out or, and it doesn't, doesn't stay that way <laughs> if you don't have it, all mix, uh, have it all balanced and correct. And you were saying that something people might not realize is the grapes are actually pretty sweet, right? The, the grapes are sweet. Um, by comparison, a, a table grape that you buy from the grocery store is about 15, 16% sugar. When we harvest our grapes, they're 21, 22% sugar. Um, because uh, to make alcohol, you start with sugar. You mm -hmm. eat the, the sugar and turn it into alcohol. And if we want 12.5% alcohol in our wine, we've got to start with 22% sugar. So we uh, are going to go out, we're going to test how much sugar is in the grapes, and when it comes where we want it to be, that's when we'll harvest, bring it in here, and start that process. It's so fascinating. Now, do you have one type of wine that's more popular than another here, or what's your best seller? Joe's Cool Red is our best seller. Mm -hmm. It's our, our sweet red wine, mm -hmm. um, and actually about half the tanks in here right now are, are our Joe's Cool Red. Oh, that's good. So you're probably more than prepared for people to be uh, Yeah, <laughs> to be <laughs> we try not it. to run out of our most popular wine. That is awesome. Any, so. any new exciting wines coming up in the future, anything like that? Or? Um, well, we just released a new wine uh, within the last month. Uh, called Turbo Pink. Ooh! Um, so our, one of our our top three wines um, mm -hmm. is our high alcohol wine, our Joe's Cool Red Turbo Charged. Um, and instead of the normal 12% alcohol, it's 18% alcohol. And that appeals to a lot of people. There you go. So um, we wanted to kind of expand that line, mm -hmm. and so we made a Turbo Pink mm -hmm. um, just last month, and that's been been selling really well so far. That, that's uh, really taken off. That's awesome. So if people, I mean, I know this is fascinating stuff. So if people want to come here and learn more, can they do that? Do you guys do tours or anything like that? Or um, we, we normally do tours uh, with yeah. different things shut down and, sure. and social distancing right mm -hmm. now. Sometimes we're doing it, sometimes we're not. It right. depends kind of where everything is. Sure. Um, but in normal times, we do tours twice a day on weekends at one and three. Gotcha. Um, if you call and check, like yeah. I said, sometimes we're doing them, sometimes we're not right now. Wow. You must but love your job. I do. I love <laughs> coming in here and doing this every day. It's great. That is so awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking time to spend with us today. This has been amazing. Of course. I'm glad you could make it. Anything else you think the people need to know? No. Uh, wine, um, a lot of people... Uh, are nervous about drinking wine or are scared of it because there's so many different flavors out there. Right. Um, one of the great things about small wineries is you come, come out, taste it, find something you like, yeah. and there's no right or wrong wine. You don't have to pay attention to the food pairings or the, the points. Just find a wine you like and drink it. Find a wine. Boom. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, William Layton, winemaker.